generations of commercial fishermen, yes. women, fisher people. And you're, you're completely isolated. Do you ever fear for your life? Have you ever gone overboard? How does this job work? What is it like being one of the very few women that do this for a living? Fishing is my profession, but Schemo is my passion. I don't just compete for myself. I believe that as women, we are better athletes when we are united. And it is my mission to create a sisterhood in Schemo. I define a badass as somebody who likes pushing their boundaries. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> All right, don't look scared for the video. <laughs> Smile. She was just getting into the sport last year, and uh, she'd be like, so what are you doing? Are you gonna, are you gonna be around this weekend? Are you gonna ski? And I'm like, nah, I'm gonna go up to Montana and check out this race. And she's like, oh, what's that all about? And then she goes and, and beats me and, you know, wins the race. <laughs> Cool. She picked it up really quick. I mean, really quick. She's super competitive. She doesn't want to lose. Sierra Anderson is absolutely a badass. There are many national team members, many fast women around it. She just kind of popped up and just started taking names right off the bat. Can I, I, I can I Google it? I uh, really didn't know much about it at all until just a couple years ago. Oh, no. Schemo is... You know, I've seen people skin before, but I never thought about it as a sport. And then I got, wow, that's, that's, that's a lot of work. Schemo, the best time you'll have being miserable on skis. No shit. <laughs> no. This is our first day at camp. Tomorrow we race. Competitors race to be the first to the finish line using skis to travel up and down a mountainous course. Schemo isn't a new discipline. I'm very impressed with the mountains here and uh, excited to ski in China and uh, tell my friends and family back home just how beautiful these mountains are. But it's just now gaining traction in the United States, gaining popularity with endurance athletes, backcountry skiers, and people with an affinity for suffering. <laughs> oh, isn't that the truth? Schemo is ski mountaineering racing. Kind of brings Nordic skiing and alpine skiing together. That's pretty scary. I wouldn't want to go 70 on those things. The International Ski Mountaineering Federation is currently the international governing body for the sport of ski mountaineering racing. The World Championship started in probably 2002 or 2003. This is the Olympics of ski mount. My goal, my dream is to race and compete at Worlds and wear red, white, and blue to represent my country. generations, my family has fished off the coast of Alaska. Salmon is the backbone of my whole livelihood. I catch it, I sell it, I eat it, so it is everything. <laughs> it's really hard as an athlete at this level to train and be on a boat. That's right, girl. What do you have to work with? We've got lots of fish. You got it! Come on, let's go! Come on! Yeah! I 
have to get pretty creative when it comes to workouts. Calabunga, dude. Jumper! Jumper! <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people romanticize this profession of commercial fishing. Hook, line, and sisters. 10.30 Tuesday, new to Nat Geo people. Please welcome Sierra Anderson. And you come from four generations of commercial fishermen. Yeah. Women, fisher people. Yeah. How does this job work? There's this beauty in it that I think everybody longs to be a part of and see. You're also running off of no sleep. You are living in closet-sized quarters with, you know, four or five other dudes. Good morning, sir. I didn't know we had assigned seats. Father and daughter and father and daughter. Oh, that's <laughs> You can make fast money quick. You can also lose everything. It's not always fun. It was 1978, a pretty exciting summer. <laughs> a few friends of mine decided that we'd go try to find some adventure, so we uh, hitchhiked up to Alaska. I got a job out in Chicknick. As fate would have it, I met my husband up there. I just remember for years, you know, I was going to prove I could, I could, you know, work on the boat and cook and do everything that a guy did, you know, and it wasn't that common for girls to be on the boat back then. And of course, I always wanted to bring the children on the boat. As a mom, it was important uh, with my girls growing up that they valued something about themselves besides their appearance. <laughs> Sierra doesn't look too much before she leaps. <laughs> I can't give up! She has no fear, absolutely no fear. That's the way you have to be in schemo. <laughs> After a couple seasons of really bad fishing, my parents lost the boat, they lost the house, we were on food stamps and it was just, had nothing. So sometimes when people see me in this state of like great success and having everything, that's all they see. And it's like, oh, well, there was a point when we really didn't have anything. And, and sometimes that's fishing where you can win big and you can lose big. And there was a season of my family's life where we lost big. Schema is a really expensive sport. There's not a lot of money in it to be sponsored to get money, you have to find that yourself or you have to make it yourself. And for me, fishing is, is the avenue to make money quickly to be able to afford this.
My goal going into U.S. qualifiers at A Basin was to make the U.S. national team. And the top two girls go on to make the team and compete at Worlds. I was not one of them. Ski mountaineering is an individual sport and, and women and, and men, I think, compete a little bit differently. Men often talk smack to each other and get out there and they're competitive and um, women are, are, I think, by nature, a little more polite. Oh. Bitches! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we come in with my four-letter word. Something my coach always talks to me about is like, who's on your team? Who's the person that's gonna make you the best version of you as an athlete. And it's your closest competitors. When I raced in Europe this year, I noticed that the European teams all train together and travel together like a family. Whereas part of the American team, I felt like we were all a group of individuals and we didn't necessarily have that sense of family so noticeable when you're on the start line and there are some women that you can connect with but there are some women that you know you just say hello and then after the race you say good job and you part your ways until the next race. I think that if you aren't close with those you're competing with it can be really isolating. Having a sense of community definitely makes you a better athlete. My goal is to one day go to the Olympics as a skimo athlete and I think that we have a lot of work here in America to do to get to the point where we're a strong community and where we have a culture that as we go to the Olympics, we're not just a group of individuals, but we're a team of really strong women who are going out there and looking to really show the world who we are. I think that Sierra has done a really good job at bringing some of the ladies, especially from here in Summit together and of creating that sense that it's okay to compete with all you have while you're racing, but then let your guard down and be friends when you cross the finish line. I am very, very proud of Sierra and the woman that she's become. I, I love it that she is not only interested in herself doing well, but she's interested in other people doing well around her. We all have different struggles and different battles we're fighting. So ultimately, I just want to see women encouraging women. There's so much value to be had when outside of the competition scene, when women are building up women. It breaks down the barriers. You bring other people into your bubble. I think we're, we're better competitors when we're united and ultimately better people when we are like family. I love seeing that my kids love what I do. Like they see that passion in me and they see that drive. And I hope that someday, sorry, that they'll um, take that to heart. Like mommy followed her dream, um, but was still, still mom. So this world championship uh, coming up is so phenomenal, not only to be able to do it as an athlete, but to take um, the kids and, and view it through their eyes too. So to go as an athlete and as, as a coach is just, you know, hashtag dream life for sure. Like Schemo's different. I feel like it's what I was made to do. If I get to represent the US in one sport, one time in my lifetime, like I want to do it.
It's extremely heartbreaking seeing someone like Sierra who has such a high work ethic and dedication and determination and then they come up short in the kind of the 11th hour. Uh, it's extremely painful to watch. Family is really important to me. To race competitively in Schemo, I had to make some tough choices. I had to make a choice between spending time with my family on the boat or with the girls in my new Schemo family. I want to continue to be able to grow this positive culture amongst women in Schemo. And I feel like the best way to do that is to be on the U.S. team. I've trained Sierra in the gym for over a year now. That girl has got some serious talent, tenacity, and a killer drive. I was at the A Basin race the day that Sierra didn't qualify. That's not the Sierra that I know. In third place, Sierra Anderson! So, remember this moment where I didn't qualify for the team? I had one more shot. And, uh... Turns out, I made it. Team USA came in force to World Championships. We had nearly 40 athletes, over 100 people in the total entourage, friends, family, everybody there to support the athletes. It was super cool to see the Summit County ladies representing Team USA on the world stage. We're looking ahead to the future now. We're looking at the hopeful of 2026 Olympics in Italy, and we're shooting for the podium. Skiing at Worlds was a huge revelation to me. I learned that European women have a stronger tradition of reaching the top of the podium through a more united approach to racing and training together. So this upcoming season in 2020, I have the fortunate opportunity to go live and train with Leticia Rue which is such an honor because she is the most decorated Schemo athlete of all time. My home is definitely Summit County, Colorado, but I feel like I have to take this next step in my Schemo career. Training with Leticia is not only an awesome opportunity for me to grow as an athlete, but also learn more about sisterhood and Schemo and bring that back to America. And the best part is I'm not going alone. Grace is going with me. I believe sisterhood is a real and powerful thing. Let's grow it.